broke my name Can I find my way back again But you don't live in yesterday There's so much more that you have to say You speak light into the emptiness again Take me higher than the places I've been Give me water from the well that never ends You're limitless Limitless stand together and you can sing with us. In the quiet you will wait for me to wake up walk away from the aimless days I waste come to hear your voice again Good morning. Isn't it wonderful that God is limitless? You can't measure him? Do you ever think of that sometimes? You try to describe God, and how do you describe him with the limited understanding we have? But one thing I'm thankful for, that he's too big for me to define. He's limitless. And today I'm glad that we're here, and we have this opportunity to worship a limitless God. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. We have some scripture reading, and I'll let you sit for a minute, and then we'll... Paul was a writer of many of the books in the Bible, and he wrote a letter to the Philippians. And I'd like to read a few verses from there. And this is what Paul wrote. He says, I thank God every time I remember you in all my prayers of all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. It is for me to feel this way about all of you, since I have you in my heart. For whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. 
And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in all knowledge and depth of insight, uh, so that you may be able to discern what is the best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, to the glory of and the praise of God. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? I'm so thankful today that we have the word here and that we can use it, and we have opportunity to study God's word. And uh, so I trust that each of us will not just listen to it here now, but you'll take this word and apply it to your hearts as we go home. But uh, there's one thing we'd like to remind you about, is you've seen the notice on the board about the seniors uh, getting together on Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Okay, seniors, um, if you have a memory like mine, it might be a little bit short on one end. So maybe it would be a good idea to write it down or something like that so you don't forget it, because that's on Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock in the lower auditorium down here, and you're most welcome to come. And Dan, he has something special lined up for us, and we'll just see what he has lined up for us, but it's something very special. And, uh, you know, you always say about seniors, well, they sort of get left out and uh, things like that, but uh, this is something that's been included, and so we are inviting you to come uh, to the seniors' deal, and that's on Wednesday afternoon at what time? Two o'clock, okay? And that's every third Wednesday of the month, so that'll be coming up again. Anyway, thank you. May the Lord bless you. Thank you, David. And he forgot to mention that there's lots of snacks for the seniors, too. I was down there last month, and it's, it's a pretty good time. Um, so another announcement we have is today at 4 o'clock, we have the church barbecue out at Stanley Park, and we will be there unless it is actively raining. If it looks like it's going to rain, head out, because we will already be there waiting for you, and only if it's actively raining will it be in the church gym. And this is a great opportunity to gather together as a church and community and invite your friends. If this is your first Sunday, we invite you. If you have a neighbor who wants to hang out today, invite them along. If you have plans with cousins or family or whatever today, bring them all out. And uh, it's going to be a good time. It's also Henry's last Sunday as a, uh, someone on staff today. And so <laughs> we are going to um, also celebrate Henry when we're out there. So... Um, two of Henry's love languages, I believe, would be food, so barbecue, and jamming with friends. So if you have an instrument that you want to bring and hang out with Henry, play guitar, play whatever it is that you can bring, maybe someone has a triangle, Henry would love to sit with you and play with you, so please come celebrate uh, Henry with us and just come fellowship. Um, we are asking people with last names from A to M right? M comes before N. Uh, to bring a salad or a side, bag of chips or veggies or whatever you want, and N to Z, a dessert. But don't let that stop you from coming. If you feel like you've got nothing in the cupboard to bring, just come. We'll have plenty of food for you. We just want to see you there. Also Thursday, this Thursday in the parking lot, uh, we have the uh, family fun event, Kid Made Market. And so there will be Eight kids there selling handmade products or services that they have, and um, they're all grade five and six kids from our church who have taken a class all about being good stewards with money and how they're learning about they're not too young to make a difference in their community. And so they are going to put those skills to practice, and um, they're selling stuff. So we'd love to have you all out. Um, this is a big event. Invite your friends, invite your neighbors again, and there's also bouncy castles in the parking lot, so hopefully something for everybody um, lots of baking, so come hungry. Um, and I was going to say something else. Oh, if it's raining, it will be in the gym with Bouncy Castles, Tristan. Bouncy Castles fit in the gym. <laughs> Double bouncing done by Dan. You'll have to sign a waiver. <laughs> Um, and last thing is next Sunday is Father's Day. And so as you may remember, we did the baby bottle campaign with uh, Pregnancy Care Center. 
Pemina Valley Pregnancy Care Center. So if you brought a bottle home and have filled that up with your change or your cash or a check, we need to bring those back next Sunday. And if you didn't bring a bottle, but you kept thinking, oh, I forgot to grab a bottle, I am certain you could still come with a donation, even if you didn't bring a bottle. So that all comes back next Sunday. And I think that's all. So stand and worship again with the band. Oh.
Thank you. You guys can have a seat. Uh, like Pastor Laurel had said, today is uh, the last Sunday that Henry is with us as a official pastor at Morden Alliance Church. Uh, many of you have been paying attention and chatting with Henry and have heard his story about where God is calling him into a new season of ministry Uh, One that has been stirring in his heart for quite some time, and we just see God's hand of provision uh, over him and his family. And as a congregation, I'd love for us to be able to pray for him and for Anna and for Rusty and for Benji as well. And so I'm going to invite Richard Clausen, who's the vice chair of our elders board, to come up and the uh, the rest of the Duick family to also come up so that we can be able to pray for them and bless them and commission them in this next season that they enter into. Yeah, come on right up over here to the... Come slide over to the middle here, guys. Uh, Henry and Anna, you guys have been part of Mac family for a long time. You're here two years before you're officially on staff. Uh, so it's been close to 14 years that Henry and Anna and their family have been here. And uh, it's just, Rusty, here Rusty has not been here for 14 <laughs> years. Um, but as far back as he can remember, he's been here. <laughs> and uh, it's just really neat seeing and hearing the story that God has put on your heart, even how you got here. And God's call in your life, you were pastoring in uh, St. Catharines, Ontario, and feeling God's call to follow to Manitoba without anything laid out in, um, in firm, concrete steps. But you obeyed, and you risked, and you followed, 
And God was faithful, and uh, he has established you here, and he has blessed you, and you have blessed us. And uh, now you're at another season where there is a, a door opening and God calling you again without necessarily firm, concrete steps. Uh, but again, you are being obedient to God's call. You're being courageous. You're being faith-filled. And uh, we are just blessed to be able to bless you and to cheer you on and to have you be part of us. That a goodbye from this position is not a goodbye to you as a family. It's great that you guys are still going to be here. Uh, if you haven't chatted with Henry, and you can catch up at the barbecue this afternoon and find out what it looks like. So we'll see you guys around the building. You'll probably be involved in music in some way here. So while this is a, an end of one chapter, it's not a goodbye. It's a, a goodbye to Benji. So Benji is, he is following um, schooling out in PEI. So he's going to be out on one coast uh, running and doing schooling out at PEI. So it's a goodbye that way. <laughs> but it's not a permanent goodbye. It's not a permanent goodbye. So we'll be, we'll, we'll be excited to have updates from you and see you in the summertime if, that, if God brings you back this way. So... Uh, I've asked Richard to also uh, pray, but I invite you guys to stand if you could, and if you could reach out your hands and bless them, and we want to bless them and commission them with what God is doing uh, in their lives, and we want to see uh, the gospel taken to places where few or none have heard, and that means even here in rural Manitoba. So I'll, uh, uh, Richard, if you want to lead, and then I'll close, and we can pray together here. Father God, we thank you so much that we get to uh, meet together here to bless the Duick family. We thank you so much for uh, all the work that you have done in this community through Henry and Anna and their mm -hmm. kids. They've been such a blessing and, and it's been an inspiration to the rest of us as we see them serving in many different uh, um, services here in church and in our community and organizing and, and serving kids. It's, just, it's a long list and uh, just pray that your spirit might continue to work in their lives and in their ministries, um, may they continue to be a blessing to everybody that they come in contact with and get to interact with. We as a church family, as brothers and sisters in your name, we want to bless them. Um, and we ask that your spirit might lead them and guide them. And uh, yeah, we just thank you so much for, uh, for everything they've been able to do here at Mac. The Heavenly Father, we do thank you that it's so obvious that your hand has been on, uh, on the Duicks, that you have blessed them with amazing gifts and abilities and their hospitality and their love and their outgoingness and their desire for worship and for drawing people closer to you. We have just been uh, blessed as they have used their gifts. So I want to pray a blessing over them as they follow this next season. By your grace, I pray that this is a season that they can enjoy as much as there is uncertainty about next steps and we're, they're taking them in faith. I pray that they also get to have moments of real um, gratitude, seeing your faithfulness over the past years, but that that might fill them with hope and excitement for what you are continuing to do in this next season. And I just pray that you continue to open doors that you have been preparing for them so obviously in advance for them to be able to walk through. So I pray a blessing over them, and we commission them in your name, Jesus Christ, that they might be able to go and... Uh, and stir the hearts of people who you have been working on, that you might be able to draw people to you through them and their ministry. And uh, we just bless them and are so excited to see what, uh, what you are going to do in them and through them. And we thank you for the gift that they have been to us personally and as individuals and our church family and our community as well. So we pray all of this in the only name that can save, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That's great. You're welcome. You guys can have a seat, and we also have just a small little um, video for you guys to take in. So if you guys want to grab a seat, and we can turn our attention here. Hi, Henry. It's great to be able to say thank you for all that you have done for us at MAC. Personally, I've really enjoyed being on the prayer team with you and putting together different prayer events like the 24-hour prayer uh, event and more. And uh, we will really miss your worship leading, your incredible musical giftings and talents. Thanks for that. And you wouldn't believe how many tries it took to put this video together. Thanks for all your technical support at our church. 
Thank you for all that you've done for our church. We've really enjoyed your music ministry and your other talents that you've brought to Mac. Uh, we've also really enjoyed getting to know you and Anna better in life group these last few years. Wishing you all the best in your new ventures. Hey Henry, you're a fantastic musician and I've really appreciated your leadership with music and tech at Morden Alliance Church. Wishing you all the best and also looking forward to making some more music with you in the future. Hey Henry and Anna, I just wanted to tell you how much you mean to me and Henry, I love the time that you spent with me teaching me some guitar and your awesome worship and how I was always welcome at your house and Anna, thank you for always being there for me whenever I needed you. Hi Papa Henry, thanks for all your support, encouragement and love and always be there for me. I'm excited for you and can't wait to hear all about your new experience with God. Hi Henry, I wanted to thank you for sharing your musical gifts with Mac and for me personally. It has pointed me to Jesus many times and so I'm thankful. And also for, uh, I think we shared about a year and a half on the prayer team, it was a great prayer team. And um, I know that uh, you taught me many things, you challenged us and you, um, I know that you like to do things for a purpose and you love to talk about healing and um, so I know that God has great plans in mind for you Anna, Benji and Rusty and we pray that uh, he will bless you and keep you. Uh, thank you Henry. Thank you Henry for all the awesome memories that we have. Thank you for all the important uh, things you've taught me in life and also uh, tech problem solving. Uh, your presence will definitely be missed back there. Henry, thank you for all you've done for us for our praise band. Thank you for um, teaching me new harmonies, new rhythms. Um, I'm being patient as you're teaching all about new tricks. Um, it's not always easy, but I appreciate it and thank you for that. Henry, thank you so much for pushing me out of my comfort zone and basically forcing me to try new things and do new things. Um, and thank you for teaching us to embrace our individuality on stage. You will be very missed. Henry, I just want to say, say congratulations on your time, on your time here. I uh, just want to say thank you for how, we, how you shaped me and my walk, walk with God and my growth as, a, as both a musician and a youth leader. You played a huge part in that, and just know that you, you, you know your time here is coming to an end. Your legacy will go, will go, will go forward, and me and other people who you've shaped in this way. Thank you so much. I'm really glad they moved here. They changed my life. Benji's my best friend. Good luck in PEI, Benji. Don't get second. I remember the first time you came to Mac after you moved to Morton. Henry, you stood up and you introduced yourself, your wife, and your son. I nudged Craig as you had a son the same age as ours. Before the day was over, I had arranged to have a play date with Anna and Benji. It was the first of many, many coffees for us. For our little boys, it was playing trains, riding bikes, reading parties, hockey, and soccer. As they grew, it turned into table tennis, badminton, and running. And you can often see these big boys of ours out running and spending as much time together as possible as soon they'll be on opposite ends of the coast from each other. I'm so thankful you guys followed God as he directed you to Morden. I'm thankful for your whole family and friendship and for the friends that Joel and Benji became. Even though our boys are leaving and you aren't with Mac in the same capacity, I'm glad that you're still just a couple doors away. Love you. Hey Henry, I just want to say thank you for all you did in my life and your influence and just the many opportunities you gave me to grow and to learn. And yeah, all the best and I'll be praying for you. Henry, I just want to thank you so much for making serving with you be such an enjoyable event. Thank you for all the hard work that you put into prepping all the songs and soundboards for Sunday mornings. And I especially enjoyed all the wing nights that we yet get to enjoy after practices. And I'm hoping that we can continue that tradition as you move on to your new venture. Bye, Henry and Anna. Thanks to both of you for playing such a huge role in my life growing up and going through youth. I want to thank you for everything that you've done for me in the past six years, and I wish you all the best in your future journeys. Henry, Anna, Benji, and Rusty, what a journey it's been here at Mac for your family. Henry, I appreciate the way you have given leadership to all of us at Mac over the years, and specifically how you have led us in worship. Julie and I appreciate your friendship over the years, as we have all walked alongside Joel and Benji as their bond has grown. 
Our boys have gone from playing mini six in the basement to training for half marathons together and working hard on schoolwork for the last couple of years in order to make it to the university of their choice, which they were both able to do. I wish you all the best as you follow the direction that God has called you on as you move towards the next stage of your lives. God bless you all. Hi Henry, I just have to say I've really enjoyed working with you because you're so fun to be up on stage with. Thank you for always encouraging me to try new things. I wish you all the best moving forward and we will miss you. It, uh, it doesn't take much um, to, or maybe I should rephrase it this way. Many of you have very similar stories of where you were new at Mac, and Henry and Anna were quick to welcome and to invite you over, and uh, we've just been so blessed. So again, I want to encourage everyone to come out to the barbecue this afternoon. We get to celebrate as a church family and be able just to enjoy um, fellowship together and food together, but also a chance just to kind of encourage Henry and Anna uh, and Benji and Rusty as they... Uh, uh, follow what God's leading them to in the next bit. I'm going to invite our ushers forward to receive this morning's offering. And many of you have been, uh, we've been saying that we've been collecting a love offering for Henry. If you'd like to contribute to that love offering, you can do so um, up until next Sunday. You can just indicate love offering on your donation slip uh, or on an e-transfer. Uh, just a reminder that receipts aren't issued for love offerings, but I want to thank you for being able to give generously and bless them uh, as they enter this next stage. So I invite the ushers to receive this morning's offering, and you can also give digitally in the lobby afterwards, or even right from your phone if you go to mordenalliance.ca. There's a giving tab there. So let's do that for right now. Mm -hmm. 